Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Children's Revival Corner. Do you know how to be spiritually healthy? Or what exercises to take? Or what food to eat? Well, you just connect right to your GPS, just like your parents connect to the GPS on their phone or in their car. But your spiritual GPS is a direct connection to God. It's God's positioning system that keeps you on your path that God has placed you on, the purpose he has for your life, even as a child. It's right there in the Bible, the story of David. Let's listen to Anaya as she introduces our story for us this evening. Thank you, Anaya. We are all God's children, young and old, and God has a purpose for each of us, but especially our children. You just need to connect to God using your spiritual GPS. So let's look at how David stayed connected and how God used him to conquer a giant in the Bible story, David and Goliath, taken from 1 Samuel 17th chapter, the International Children's Version. The Philistines were at war with the Israelites. They had a giant named Goliath who was over nine feet tall, who constantly threatened the Israelite soldiers and King Saul. But then there was David, the son of Jesse, a shepherd boy who carried a staff and a sling and five smooth stones. He loved to play his harp and herd the sheep protecting the sheep from the lions and the bears with only his slingshot. So one day his father, Jesse, sent him to the Israelite soldiers camp with food and a message for his brothers who were soldiers. Well, David, being the inquisitive boy he was, wondered why the soldiers feared this Goliath when they had the Lord on their side. He, David, was willing to fight Goliath all by himself. So the soldiers took David before the king and David told the king, I will strike down the giant Goliath. Well, between you and me, God was just positioning David to do a mighty thing because of his faith and trust. David had a healthy GPS connection. Well, K 
King Saul fitted David in armor with helmet and sword and a shield. But David said no. He would fight Goliath with what God had already blessed him with, his slingshot and five stones. Now, Goliath had been teasing the Israelite army and talking about God for 40 days. That's another thing. God likes to do things in 40 days. Noah and the ark, 40 days of rain. Israelites trip to the promised land. It took them 40 years. And Jesus fasted for 40 days. Seems to me, whenever there's a lesson to be taught, it's going to be 40 something. Anyway, David, with just his slingshot and five stones, walked up to Goliath, who was just speaking against Israel and the living God. Goliath was walking toward David, saying he would feed David to the birds. Remember, he was over nine feet tall. He could just grab David and hold him up in the air for the birds. But David was not afraid. He ran towards Goliath, saying, Today the Lord will give you to me. Then all the world will know there is a God of Israel. Everyone gathered here will know the Lord does not need swords or spears to save people. The battle belongs to him, and he will help us defeat all of you. David, still running, put a stone in his sling and slung it. Pow! Striking Goliath smack in the middle of his forehead, and Goliath fell face down to the ground. The Philistines turned and ran, but the Israelite soldiers ran after them. God gave them the battle, and the war was won by the Israelites, King Saul, and a little boy named David. How did David connect to his GPS and beat the giant Goliath? There are five spiritual exercises David used and shared. Can you help me? Write an answer in the chat if you know. Let's see. He believed in God. He used his talents and gifts for the glory of God. He trusted God. He knew God would help him against his giants. And he claimed the victory in God's name. Yes, David had a spiritual, healthy connection to his GPS. And God's purpose for David put him on a path of becoming a great king. David also contributed to a book in the Bible. He wrote over half the songs in this book. Do you know the name of this book? Write it in the chat. So now that you learned about David, what about you? How can you stay spiritually healthy and spiritually connected to your GPS? Well, worship and praise God. Read your Bible. Pray to God. Trust God, have faith and believe. And most important, honor God in all that you do. Staying connected to God can help you to overcome the giants in your life and lead you to great things. David became king. You can become a doctor, choreographer, professor, attorney, even the president. To the children, if you have not yet given your life to God, but you believe in Jesus and you know he died on the cross for your sins. And you know at this time you want a healthy connection to God, be baptized and become a disciple. Just reach out to your parents, me or any of our ministers and express your desire to be baptized. Get connected. So in closing, we invite everyone, restore, reboot, Reconnect to God. Hooking up to your spiritual GPS will keep you spiritually healthy. God bless.